why aren't those countries taking the people in Gaza, even if only temporarily, to get them out of harm's way? Why, why isn't Saudi Arabia, why isn't Egypt, why aren't those countries taking those poor women and children to get them out of harm's way, to allow them to be in their countries, if not permanently, where they speak the language and they have the same religion, at least temporarily, while the war is going on between Israel and Hamas. Why? Could somebody explain that? I haven't quite figured that out. Uh, Why? I can explain it. Now, it used to be that Israel was, got the world's sympathy because Israel was seen as the David versus the Arab Goliath. And the natural thing for humans to do is to sympathize with the underdog, with the David against the Goliath. In the 1970s, uh, the Soviet Union became very involved in the Middle East, and they became the advisor of the Arab countries against Israel and against you know, its alliance with the United States. And what they did was they changed the nature of the conflict from the Arab-Israeli conflict to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. So you know, in the past, it used to be that the entire Arab world would go to war against Israel. So you would have Egypt and Syria and Iraq and uh, Jordan, etc., fighting against Israel. So you have these huge countries fighting against this tiny Israel. They realize it's a mistake. Why make it an Arab-Israeli conflict? The conflict is between the Palestinians and the Israelis. The Palestinians, compared to Israel, is weaker and smaller. So just make the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict is not really an Israeli-Palestinian conflict. It's still an Israeli-Arab conflict. Most of the Arab countries surrounding Israel want to destroy Israel. It's always been their goal. They haven't stopped. Uh, maybe Saudi Arabia has cut it out in recent years, but almost all of the countries still hate us and want to see us be destroyed. They never wanted us here. So they don't want to take in Palestinians because they want the problem to be Israel against the Palestinians and look how the Palestinians are suffering and meanwhile, the Arab countries are supporting them uh, with finances, with weapons. I mean, Iran has given Hezbollah about 150,000 very sophisticated, long-range guided missiles that can easily destroy Israel. It's really an Arab-Israeli conflict, but the Arabs use the Palestinians. So they don't want to help the Palestinians. They want the Palestinians to die because the more Palestinians die and suffer, the more the world turns against Israel. And the way to the defeat the so-called Goliath of Israel is by uh, getting as much sympathy for the, for the Palestinians against Israel. So that's why they're not helping the Palestinians. They don't care about the Palestinians. Their goal is to destroy Israel. And, and they're doing a very good job. We are on the road to destruction. This is a new Holocaust. <laughs>